Today's special is something I think you'll really love. Well, maybe not love exactly. More like, um, well, you'll find it interesting. It's garlic smashed potatoes and pistachio cream. Tessie was making baked potatoes and ice cream for dessert, but Tony, who was juggling the garlic, slipped on the banana that my gal Sal dropped. Tony's garlic landed on the potatoes, and Tony landed on Tessie. Tessie landed on the potatoes, and they were really smashed. So that was okay. Then Rover found that Tessie had set the ice cream on the stove, and it had all melted. Fortunately, no one likes smashed potatoes without gravy, so things worked out just fine. The cooks had fixed something really special. Pancakes topped with fruit. They started to make a salmon souffle, but they didn't have any salmon. They did get a good deal from Andre on some anchovies, though. Sal wanted to make a blueberry pie, but Merrick was selling bananas and grapes, so she made those into a pie instead. Just as Rover was taking the souffle out of the oven, Tony called Tessie a frumpy old toadstool, so she threw the pie at him. She got him square on the face, and the fruit pie pan fell on the souffle, squashing it flat. So now we have anchovy pancakes and baked fruit. Hope you like it. Today's treat is goop soup with cabbage. It was supposed to be spaghetti and meatballs, but Rover threw a cabbage at Tony Maloney and it fell in the sauce. Then Tony threw the meatballs back at Rover, but Rover dodged them and they hit Sal instead, so she dropped all the spaghetti. That wouldn't have been a problem, but Tessie slipped on the spaghetti while she was carrying the carrot salad, so that went everywhere. When they looked around, everything was mixed up, so they picked up what they could salvage and put it all in with the sauce and cabbage. They just added some water and salt and voila! A meal you won't find anywhere else. <coughs> The soup for tonight is lobster brisk. Rover brought in a huge lobster for dinner, but Messy Tessie couldn't bear to drop the lobster alive into the boiling pot, so the cooks decided to get the lobster drunk first. Soon they were all singing Little Brown Jug with the lobster singing harmony. While Tessie was reaching for the barrel of beer, she knocked over the flower, which soon covered everything. So they gave the lobster a bath and a group hug for being such a good sport and turned him loose. Then, they made the soup from his bath water. We're having goulash. You don't want to know. You really don't want to know. Today, we are having macaroni and cheese. Plain old macaroni and cheese. I gave the cooks the day off. <coughs> 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 